Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing pie chart data interpretation. First, look at the information carefully. See here, study the following pie chart carefully and answer the questions given below. First, we have uh, two pie charts in this, uh, uh, in this session. Percentage of students in six different colleges. Percentage of students in six different colleges. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. These are the six different colleges. And uh, first pie chart is talking about total number of students. Whereas the second pie chart, percentage of girls. First one is percentage of total students. Second one is percentage of girls in each and every college and total number of girls that is also given and uh, how can we calculate total number of boys it is very simple if you want total number of boys from any of the college let us take a uh, college a college a boys college a boys is equal to college a total minus college a girls that will gives you the exact result so college a total here, college here total is 23 percentage out of uh, 3500. 23 percentage of 3500. And if you observe carefully, the percentage values of uh, in each and every college, A, B, C, D, E, F, all these values are same in both the diagrams. In both the diagrams, all these values are same. So, directly you can subtract uh, again 23 percentage of, uh, this is also 23 percentage, 23 percentage of 1800. So, you can common 23 percentage, right? 23 percentage of 3500 minus 1800, that will give you 1700, right? 1700 is the difference. Therefore, when you are calculating number of boys in any of the college, how can you calculate in simplest manner for this kind of uh, situation? Why, uh, whenever two diagrams are equal, directly you can take the difference between 3500 and 1800. You will get uh, 1700. This 1700 is nothing but uh, total number of boys. If you want number of boys in college A, 23% of 1700, college P, 10% of 1700, college C, 31% percentage. like that you need to calculate. This is very important one and also easy to solve the problems whenever this kind of situation occurs. Now the question is, what is the number of girls in college D? First question. First question, number of uh, girls in college D. College D girls 11 percentage. 11 percentage of number of girls. Total number of girls are 1800. So, two zeros, two zeros cancel. 18 into 11. That is 180 plus 18, 198. Total number of girls in college D. College D girls is equal to 198. Option C is the right answer. 198. Option C. Second question, which college has lowest number of girls? Which college has lowest number of girls? Here there is undoubtedly just compare the percentage values which are given in the pie chart. Here it is 23, 20. This is not the lowest. And next 31. This is not the lowest. 11. This is not the lowest as comparing with this. 8. Here B is not lowest as comparing with E. Next F17. This is not the lowest. So first lowest one is uh, college E. There is no calculation required. Just comparison. Comparison of each and every value. By comparing all the percentage values, uh, E is the lowest number of uh, girls. That is option C is the right answer. Option C. And so many students, what they will do is they will calculate individual values of uh, each and every college number of girls. That is not at all required. Just comparison is required. Okay. Next one. Third question. The number of boys per college A 
forms uh, what percent of uh, number of students uh, from that college. Here we are talking about uh, college A. Just now we talked about uh, boys. Boys is equal to difference between those two. As the values of uh, each and every college in both the charts are equal, boys are nothing but total number of students minus total number of girls, which is equal to 1700, right? Total number of boys becomes uh, 1700. Now, according to the question, number of boys from college A, that is 23 percentage. 23 percentage of 1700. This value, what percent of uh, the total number of students from that college? From that college, uh, 23 percentage of the total number of students are 3500. Now, if you observe carefully, whenever you are calculating percentage into 100, percentage symbol, that is common thing. 23 percentage, 23 percentage common, you can cancel. And two zeros, two zeros common, you can cancel. And next, uh, five sevens are five twenties. And next, uh, 17 into two, that is 34, 340 divided by seven. Now you can calculate this one. Uh, 7 4 zero. 7 4 zero, 28 again uh, 60 60 in the sense uh, 8 times uh, 56 uh, 40 40 means uh, 5 times and next uh, uh, here it is uh, 5 5 50 means again uh, 7 times uh, you need to calculate the percentage up to 2 digits after the decimal point therefore your required answer will be 48.57 in the given question in brackets uh, this information is given rounded off to two digits after the decimal point therefore your required answer will be 48.57 there is no requirement of taking uh, further values uh, sometimes there might be a chance of asking approximate values uh, in that case directly you can keep the answer as 48 percentage no need of calculating uh, uh, this 0.57 also. Okay. <coughs> Next question. See here. What is the total number of boys from colleges uh, E and F together? Just now I told that number of boys. Total number of boys are 1700. Why? Because difference between uh, total students and girls. Which will give you uh, the total number of boys. Because... Uh, Two charts, first pie chart and second pie chart, both pie charts percentages are equal. That is the reason why I am directly subtracting these two. If these two pie chart values are not equal, you need to calculate individually total number of students uh, from all the colleges and total number of students from all the colleges girls uh, to uh, uh, separately. After that, you need to Take the difference between those two. You will get the number of boys. But here both the pie charts are equal. That is the reason why I am taking a directly difference between these two. 3500 and 1800. That is 1700. As we are talking about colleges E and F. E and F colleges. It is very clear that college E and F. College E is 8 percentage. College F is 17 percentage in both right therefore 8 percentage plus 17 percentage how much it is 25 percentage right 25 percentage of total number of boys that is your answer what is 25 percentage of total number of boys 1700 here it is uh, 1 by 4 after that uh, uh, you can cancel with 4 table 4 4 sir next uh, 4 2 sir 4 5 sir 425 total number of boys from colleges E and F together 425 for that is option B last question in this session which college has the maximum number of boys again the same thing total number of boys is equal to 1700 as the total number of boys is 1700 irrespective of the value of this one as the question is asking about maximum number of boys 
you are getting maximum number of points if the percentage is maximum. If the percentage is maximum, you are getting maximum number of points. If the percentage is less, you will get a minimum number of points. From the both the pie charts together, from both the pie charts, it is very clear that college C, college C is having maximum number of boys. College C, 31 percentage and remaining all are less than 31 percentage. So, directly you can keep the answer as option A, which is college C. That is the answer for this question. Guys, whenever these kind of uh, questions are asking in examination point of view, you need to grab the opportunity and you need to solve uh, in very less time. Then only it is possible to uh, get, get the job in any kind of competitive examination. Okay, guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session and uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.